Okay, a question today uh, about Bootstrap Studio. It says, how I can make navbar that contains three buttons with position center. And the second question is, how I can make navbar button with background image. Well, the first question is a fantastic question. I knew this would come up at some point. And the second one, I've never known anybody else ask us that one. So that's an interesting one. So anyway, Bootstrap Studio, and I've got to say that the first part of this question about center and navigation bars has been one of these things that uh, people have found very difficult to code over the years, and especially with um, re responsive design, it's before it wasn't too bad, but you've got to uh, you've got to account for everything now. So anyway, so we'll go start with raw, and we just pop this in here. And we're going to put in navbar, as I've done on many occasions. Okay, so here we are. So usually what I do is try to code uh, stuff, but in this one, uh, it is tricky coding actually with navbars, especially um, in the earlier years, you used to use JavaScript and things, but Anyway, you can still, but it's much easier in CSS. Okay, so we're just going to convert it to HTML. Okay, so you just click on the, the bar, right-click on it, and convert HTML. Now, over on the right-hand side here, and you're going to have to do a bit of maths um, to get everything. I've, I'm doing a three-button menu, like uh, the chap said. Anyway, you've got to always remember that in responsive design, it's a 12-grid system, okay? So over here on the, the right hand side, you've got column size, um, you know, for all these and column offset, which is something we're going to play around with. So what, I'm, what I would suggest is to have your column size for something like a three button one. If there's a lot of, uh, a lot in your menu, well, everything's just going to go um, by default. So I'm going to put this in. And we're going to call this six, okay? I'm going to put that in six. So now, what's highlighted on here um, is that you can see the the blue mark, and it's right to the left, and there's nothing on this right hand side, okay? So if we come down here now, and um, you get the column offset, okay? So you just say for uh, I'm on desktop, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well when you watch this. Um, so we're just going to have the offset at uh, 3, okay? So now you can see there's a change around there. So now the the um, highlighted in blue has now gone to center point, okay? So what we do this is we're just going to preview that, okay? Open in the browser and there. So now it's centered and what that does is that it's six on the grid, okay? But you've offset that by um, three, and your default now is gone to three on that side, so two sixes, two sixes are 12, obviously. Um, for example, if you had a fourth button, that probably would still go in there, but if you had a fifth button, then you would still have to do a little bit of maths, and then you might have to just have an offset of two, and, and that type of thing, and have a... Um, you grade as seven and then you would just go from from there and it is you just got to like sort of trial and error a little bit on this but you, you can get it centered um, but on here is if you just go into what <clears throat> what will be mobile system so you got the mobile there so that still goes down okay on there so if you come back you come to around about where I would say tablet size so that's gone to the center, you see. Okay, so what we do here, so this is a large screen. I'll go in here so you can see what I'm doing. Large screen, middle screen, small screen, and extra small, I guess, for smartphones. So you see it's small for tablets. So, okay, so we see maybe three for this as well. And you can call them all three. Okay, so come out, preview, and open the browser all right okay so there you have the the normal thing and 
that is still in the middle but you've got a little bit on there um, poking out on the right hand side but you come in and you go to there okay so basically that's not so bad because remember that you would be coloring in uh, you would actually you know you'd have your color for the menu and that so you wouldn't see a lot of um, stuff with the tablet version but that's that's not too bad but um so with you you know with that you just have to mess around with it that's that's basically what you do really it's um there's not it's not a scientific approach i guess but um and again here we'll go on a small one and see what we do with the six oops i'll just click the file there six oh, come on okay so now that should be better at the small air at the tablet size. Okay, so now we got again this and we go in there, see what I mean? That's tablet size now and that's fine. Because I've slightly changed it and now we're going into um, mobile smartphones and phablets and wherever else they've got out now. Um, so yeah so basically what you're doing is you're using the column size um and on this case six which will center it and on the other thing that your your th uh, two threes are six so you've got three at each side so that gives you the uh, the the center point so i hope that's uh, that's answered that question um the uh you know there's lots of different ways to to do um centering of the menu but that's one way and it's quite simple to use for people who don't like coding um so yeah the second point of this is about how to get an image into a, a button okay so right um just pop that on there Anyway, so I've got a photograph, um, it's a very small photograph, and I'll show you here. Anyway, this girl's called G, or oh, she is in this uh, thing. Okay, so we're just going to put that in there. So there she is, this is a photograph I took of a, a cycling event, actually. Um, anyway, so we've got this here, and the first item is where we're going to put her okay so uh we're going to custom code this and we're going to um edit the code is again two ways to do this and you can do it by putting an inline uh style as we're going to do there style equals um background dash image colon url parathesis and speech marks and we're just going to put in g dot jpeg all right so where's that got us okay so we're just going to apply that all right and there she is so i'll just um i'll let you go in there and see that so the style is the background image and the URL and g.jpg. Okay, so that would look something like, in fact, it won't look something like, it is this. Um, all right, there she is there on the first item. So um, we just come across there and that looks like that and she's just, people over to see us and um yeah so that's both of them questions answered if there's any questions or anything that um nobody's understood and i know people might get back and say well you could have done um the centering of the me menu like this this and this but uh, there's lots of ways to do anything so that's just one way so again thanks for watching and thanks for listening